we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress I know. when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range you're getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement what you have to understand this is not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. Ready, he is the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Let's do it. All right, another big spot for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. He has been on the cusp of contention at middleweight and at light heavyweight. Many of you know he actually began his UFC career as a heavyweight. And look at him now. Like, I would never wear a shirt, DC, if I looked like that guy. Jared Cannonier back on the proven ground here tonight. All right, the killer gorilla, Jared. Right right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing. Oh, oh he got hit again. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. That strike blocked by Cannonier. Just over three minutes to go now. Strickland's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Right hand high, right hand high. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the bars. there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, how good is this? Both men going 
for the finish. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't have to Remain in the round. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's out. Jared Cannonier with a huge win tonight. Oh my lord. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.